Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, for today's lesson, I would like to talk about self-defense, in particular the medium range. Okay, so um, in medium range, how do we do it? Before that, last time I talked about long range self-defense, and uh, let me do a quick, very quick review on it. Okay, so in Eskrima, in Filipino martial arts, they teach defang the snake. So that a lot of times translates to cutting and attacking the arm, right? And the, the way it's normally taught is you attack the arm, and if you take out the arm, if you destroy the arm, they can no longer, they can no longer attack you with this arm. Therefore, you know, you're removing the danger. You take away the fangs of the snake, then the snake can no longer harm you. So a lot of people explain that, and, and it's not wrong, okay? But I want you guys to understand that if I cut his arm here, and no matter how awesome, how deep I cut it, if they cut me on the neck while I do this, then we just trade it, and they're going to win, right? Because it's neck versus arm. This is more critical. That simple, right? So then it's not going to work. So what makes this work is me cutting their, their arm, and creating distance, getting the heck out of there, all right? So the reason why this works is because, and the reason why I'm even doing this in the first place, right, instead of over here, because I'm assuming that they are as good, if not better than I am. So if I go for the neck and they're going for the neck, the better person's going to get it. And I don't want to play that game with someone that, that's, potentially better than I am at it. So I'm going to go for a lesser target, but the trick is not to trade because they, they're going for the, the primary target, the neck. So what I'm going for is right here, the hand, but it's less commitment on my part. So it's much safer for me to do. Now it makes sense. Now it's all about safety. It's not about destroying the arm then. It's about safety. That's why I'm doing it. It's less risk on my part. So that, in order for that to occur, then I need to do this. So if I just do this, then even though I'm defanging the snake, it doesn't make sense now. And I could get annihilated. So the vampire fighting system, I wanted to focus on this part right here. So for you guys, practice. Don't just practice attacking the arm like this practice getting out of there and keeping keeping that distance because without it once again it doesn't make any sense okay so next is medium range so that was long range now we're talking about medium range how how do we um uh, defend ourselves from here so what's typically taught in eskrima and filipino martial arts kali arnis and all that is in medium range because we're both in range of each other right it's it's honestly at this point who can hit the other person quicker and who can do damage first that that's really what it's about who can get there first all right so what's normally taught the main idea that's taught is we just do the angles of attack man so if you find yourself in medium range they teach you boom 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 but just take them out and do the angles of attack just one, two, three, four, boom, boom, you know, kind of like the stuff that you saw in the movie, uh, The Hunted, starring Tommy Lee Jones, all right, pretty much like that, I mean, and, and that makes sense, 100%, you're already in range, right, and Filipino martial arts comes from the battlefield, it's tested in various battlefields throughout history, and, and yeah, it's, it's for war. So yeah, you, you're not going to hesitate and you're just going to attack, attack, attack and finish the guy off. Now, so this is where in vampire fighting, I evolved it and, and it still works around the same idea. We are both in range. So what do you do? Well, on the battlefield, you have your sword, but you also have your shield. So please think of this as a shield and what, what you could do in medium range is shield fighting, all right? So the forearms become the shield. 
So I'm just going to put this on just so it will be easier for you guys to see and understand. So imagine this is a shield. I'm in medium range. I'm already in, in target. So I'm going to be doing shield fighting, whether I have a knife or not, or whether I'm empty hand, or if I'm able to wrap a jacket around my arm, whatever the case, it's going to be shield fighting if I'm in medium range. Okay. So uh, there's basically three ways to use the shield. And the number one is to absorb your, your blocking, essentially. So, so they're coming with their attack, and boom, you know, you are blocking their attack. That's number one. Number two is, you know, they, they could have a weapon, whatever, and I'm going to do this, boom. So I am attacking with the shield, right? I'm, boom. Boom, so that you could use your angles of attack and whatnot. And boom, boom. So I'm I'm attacking at their arm. Number three is I'm gonna use the shield to pretty much as a battering ram to enter in and as I collide, I bash them with the shield. So those are the three main ways to use the shield. These are general, you know, they're not uh, super specific, but three main ways to use the shield for shield fighting. Okay, so now that's exactly what we're gonna do here with the forearm. So if this guy has a knife and we're in medium range, okay, I'm using this. So number one is to block. Number two is to Attack. So I'm, I'm attacking their arm. I don't go flesh to blade because that would be bad for me. If they have a double-edged blade or whatever, I don't know. It's not worth taking that risk. So I don't go my flesh to blade, but on the flip side, I want their flesh on my weapon. So, but the reverse, we don't want, okay? So it's gonna be flesh to flesh, arm to arm, all right? So this is number two, the the striking with the shield and then number three is your entry so you're bashing them with the shield so those are the three main ways to use your forms because the forms become the shield and like i said you could, you could do the exact same thing whether you're holding a knife you know whatever grip you're still doing shield fighting in medium range so that's it for now thank you for thank you for viewing and take care folks